Hey everyone, it's Cory. We're doing April favorites. Oh my god, the year it's going by so quickly. I can't even catch up. April's over, another month has ended, and that means another cycle of beauty products has made its way into my favorites. So there's actually a lot of them over here, so I am just going to get started right now. And I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see, but that's okay. So first off, I'll start with two products that I'm sure you knew that I was going to mention. This is the Chanel Lumiere de Tay Illuminating Powder for Summer 2015. This bronzer is the most incredible thing I have ever used. First of all, there's this gorgeous pattern on it that's like a camellia flower. And the color is just absolutely, like, so good. It's... It looks actually, like, very, very, very warm, like, swatched, but on the skin, if you apply it sheerly, I find it's neutral. Like, I like to apply it, like, loosely onto my forehead, but then I've actually been wearing this a lot as a blush recently, and um, I've been, like, building it up, and it goes very warm, and I love that look. I have not purchased a bronzer all year just in anticipation for this launch, and I was not disappointed at all. I'm sorry if I have a little bit of a lisp right now. One of my, like, wisdom teeth is, like, kind of inflamed right now, so I can't really close my mouth all the way, so my S's are not coming out very well, but... So anyway, this powder is, like, 65 bucks. It's one of the most incredible textured powders ever. Like, it doesn't quite have the feel of, like, those like, baked gel-type formulas, like the MAC Extra Dimensions or something like that. It's just very, like, I don't know. It's just so, like, luxurious and, like, buttery. It has, like, no kick-up of powder. Uh, it's just so good. It's limited edition right now, so definitely go up to your Chanel counters and pick this up because it is a beaut. The next thing I want to mention, which I'm amazed I've only had for a month, like I looked at last month's favorites and it wasn't in there, so I was like, how have I only had this for a month? Because I have used this probably like 27 days out of the month. This is the Laura Mercier um, Face Illuminator in Indiscretion, and this is a highlighter for the gods. This is, this is Spellbound, like do you guys remember Spellbound from like three years ago? This is the highlight next to the bronzer. Um, it is absolutely incredible. It is one of the most passable dupes I have found in the look on the skin for Dior Amber Diamond, which is like my like diehard favorite highlighter. Let me pull that out and give you like a swatch comparison. The texture of them, like when you feel them, are kind of different, but on the skin, they look exactly the same. Like. Can you see those two? Like, they're pretty much the exact same on the skin. It's just beautiful, like, kind of rose goldy shade, but it's, it just, like, works. I have it on today. I have indiscretion on today. And I thought that it was limited edition. It was, like, pulled. And it still is not on the Sephora website, but I've seen it in the displays in store. So now it's in stores at Sephora. I don't think it's online. And it's at, I think it's available on like Nordstrom's and Bloomingdale's. So this is available still, but it is limited edition. So definitely grab this. This is Laura Mercier Indiscretion. Incredible. Something I really want to quickly mention because it's like, I don't know, I can't really go on very much, is the Chrissy Formulations Contour Duo, I guess you could say. I got this at TJ Maxx. I featured this in a haul video. And I swear, I have not used anything else for contouring and, like, setting my under eyes since I picked this up. I thought this was going to be way too light for my under eyes, but it's actually very sheer. So it, um, it sets my concealer really nicely. And this contouring shade is just... Ugh, this contouring shade is, like, all I will ever need in my entire life. I actually use this to, like, tighten up the edge of my contour now. And it's, like, the best thing I've ever could have done for my cheekbones ever. So this is the Chrissy Formulations Contour Kit. I got mine at... I got mine at TJ Maxx, and it was, like, five bucks. So how could you not? I should have done this product first because this was, like, before the base products and everything. This is the Pixi by Petra Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. This is a new launch for, like, Pixi's summer collection, I think. And it's supposed to be, like, kind of something to use along with the Glow Tonic, which is a cult favorite toner type product. But this is a really interesting thing. So this has like, I don't know if you could see like the two faces of it. It has oil 
and then it has like a kind of suspend like a suspension that like doesn't mix with the oil so you shake it up and it turns into like just one fluid thing and it's like a little mist I thought this was gonna kind of be like the Smashbox primer water which I have not used yet and I've seen lots of people say that it's kind of like the Caudalie beauty elixir which I have also not used yet but this I use this as like a prep spray sort of as like the Smashbox primer water and this leaves my skin with the most incredible smooth canvas to work on like it's crazy like I have it under all my makeup today I was scared because I'm oily skinned and this has like a bunch of oil in it but guys the oils in this like they missed out so fine that once you let it sink in a little bit and when you like when you start packing on your powder foundation that little bit of oil that's on the skin kind of like makes the powder foundation more creamy and it just looks incredible like I've only had this for about two weeks and oh uh, it's so good I've tried to refresh my makeup with this like kind of repowdering and then putting this on top and I don't like it on top of makeup just because it's a little bit too dewy for like my final layer but I love this as like a base spray little tiny like kind of honorable mention sort of is uh, Anastasia Dip Brow in Auburn. Since my hair is now like this coppery shade, I wanted to go warmer with my brows, and I was silver for so long that like I had no warm brow products. But my hairdresser, Kayla, she had um, like a red to blonde ombre at one point, so she had Auburn Dip Brow, and she gave it to me, and I like it. Like I like the way that it looks. Dip Brow is not my favorite formula for these like pomade type deals. Like, my favorite is definitely the Giorgio Armani Eye and Brow Maestros. That's my favorite. But they do not make a color that's, like, really all that warm, like, with this. This is, like, an extremely warm brow product, but I really like it. Um, I gotta do a brow routine. I gotta do a brow routine. Like, someone remind me that. Thanks. This is, like, the year of lips for me because I used to never wear lip products like I would just wear like lip balm and then like leave the house sometime a tinted lip balm but I've been really getting into like liquid lipsticks and uh lip liners so I have two lip liners that I really have been loving this is Mac Whirl and they come in like a pencil it's extremely creamy and this is what I have on my lips today this is like this is the Kylie Jenner color and it's like this kind of like pinky, medium toned, nude-ish shade. And I love it so much. The formula of these wear for like a good old seven hours before anything. They're very comfortable. And they were like 17 bucks, I think. So they're kind of economical because it's a sharpeny pencil. And it's really long. And I have sharpened this a couple times. So MAC. Oh, I'm sorry. I said MAC World. This is MAC Soar. Did I say MAC Soar? I don't know. This is Soar. Another pencil which is a very different color, which is courtesy of Kayla again, is the Vincent Longo Duo Lip Pencil. She got this in her birch box, maybe? She got this in like a subscription box and she doesn't like these colors, so she gave it to me. And this is a pencil that has two sides. So it has a kind of like terracotta nude shade and then a very pale like concealer nude shade. Can you guys see those? Um, they are right here. Really beautiful colors, very similar formula to the MAC ones, and I just use these when I do like a really nude lip. Like, I'll put the tan side all over my lips and then I'll highlight the center using this, and then I'll smush them all together with a gloss. The gloss I really like using for like the smushing is the Chanel Glossomer in Whisper. It looks like that, it's like a really pearly, like pale nude. So yeah, lip liners, a go. I feel weird mentioning this just because I got it like three days ago, but this mascara combo is the most incredible thing I've ever put on my lashes. Like, I have really bad lashes. Like, you can't see them at all, and you probably can't see them, like, right now either. But they are, like, big today for me. And this is Sh La Volume de Chanel by Chanel. Super pricey, but this is the waterproof one. I've had samples of the regular La Volume de Chanel and it's not waterproof So I couldn't really wear it because I have really bad smudging issues But they came out with like they came out with a collection that had the waterproof version Which is like always in and out of being limited edition. So I got it. The brush is very weird it like 
I think what it is is it has like cylindrical discs that are all placed like differently on top of each other. It it just has like really short spiky bristles and then it has this weird ball on the top of it sort of but it's like a triangle and you can't really use that but this is so good for like wiggling right at the base of the lashes and like pulling up and you do get kind of like clumpy lashes with that like you get like really dense kind of clumpy lashes so i've been using benefit roller lash which has a very different brush to that one this is more of like a lengthening separating mascara and this has like a kind of comb wand to it. So I like to use that to really stretch the lashes out after a coat of the volume de Chanel to kind of like separate them and really like flip them up because this is really good at like curling the lashes. And that mascara combo is just, oh, you need it. It's like super water resistant, like waterproof. Like it doesn't transfer or smudge on me like anywhere throughout the whole day. It's incredible. It's really expensive, but like I think it's worth it. Le volume de Chanel. This is another product that I feel kind of strange mentioning because I got it a week ago, but this is a hair product and this stuff is amazing for like short, chunky, textured men's haircuts or like if you have a pixie cut. This is the Bumble and Bumble City Swept Finish. Supple Hold Finishing Spray creates... Okay, it looks like this and <laughs> it's like an aerosol hairspray can. But what is in here is like a micronized wax. I think that's what the girl told me. She's like, it's a wax in spray form. And it has like a, sh it has like a natural kind of shiny finish. And this stuff is like incredible for giving you like lift and pieciness and like hold and texture. It's seriously like my favorite thing ever. I used to use Bumble and Bumble Sumo Tech, which is like, um, it's like a wax pomade hybrid. And I like that, but it doesn't give me as much like PCness as I like and this gives me like grit and PCness and oh uh, I love it so much so this is like 30 bucks and I know I'm gonna run out of it quickly it's four ounces but in the meantime I love it and that was April favorites I think I went through them pretty quickly I hope you guys enjoyed this I will leave everything down below and you leave me stuff down below and you tell me about your favorites for the month of April or like your favorites for forever. I would love to like take your recommendations and stuff and like check things out if you have recommendations for me and suggestions. And this uh this wisdom tooth is like murdering me right now so I'ma go. So I hope you guys have a good day and take care. Bye bye.